Um, so anyways, let's see who loves you to death search. That is, we do have the uh, the world. So it's an ending and the two of pentacles. It's like we are choosing to end something. Um, because two, right, is a number for choices and decisions. And we do have the world. It's time to turn the page. For wish fulfillment, I love this. Nine of Cups, of course we want wish fulfillment. Of course we want somebody and they better come to us, right? Something like that. And the devil, we might want a Capricorn and they better show up, right? At the table or at the door. Hangman, sacrifice. Okay. It's also expanding the mind, but we'll see. So let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy this week. And we say it's the second week of March, but again, we know how time can be very fluid. So we do have the Eight of Pentacles. I love this. And the Magician. And the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So we do have a bond. We do have a soulmate. And we do have an offer on the table that we are working on to manifest, right? We have the Eight of Pentacles. It's positive movement forward, but we know it's all about apprenticeship and um, dedicated effort, right? We have the awareness card. It's amazing. It is amazing because it does look like an awakening and not, not an ordinary awakening. One that we have an offer and we have a bond, a strong bond with somebody. For some of you, I'm not going to lie, right? March is a month where we are quite sentimental about this person we have memories of love right we want this person we remember the good time together so but then we have an offer on the table so let's see so the Sagittarius past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's see current energies on your side <clears throat> the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. I might lose my voice, I know. Probably I'm going to sneeze you a couple of times. Ever since this morning, I was not able to kind of start the readings because I was sneezing, you know, like a cat. I'm just saying, like a pussycat. So, <laughs> the out possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Two of Swords, mental conflict, what's going on? We have a soulmate, but we don't know exactly how to go by it. We are contemplating. And then you show up, you have a mental, what's going on? Maybe we need to choose between two people, right? We have a lot of decisions. To, um, we had the uh, Two of Pentacles and now we do have the Two of Swords. Decisions, decisions, decisions. About love, oh, well, why not, right? So Sagittarius, before we jump to conclusions, I suggest we see the big picture. So what else? On your side in the past. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You, uh, well, we need the two of cups and then that's it, right? Because you do have the two of pentacles, you have the two of wands and the two of swords. Or, well, if this is not about a fundamental decision, I wonder what is. And um, you know what? Um, past energies on your side, I believe you decided to wait because we do have the waiting game, right? With the two of wands and we do have the two of pentacles. This is juggling a decision. Um, or you had to choose, right? Between um, having something or um, continuing something uh, or simply put it on hold or wait for another opportunity or something like that. There was a lot of choices in the past and finally you said, you know what? Because I'm confused, because I don't know exactly, and because I have a couple of things to deal with or to work on, because you have the Eight of Pentacles first card out, right? Um, all that to say you work on something, so finally in regards to love, and absolutely an offer of love. You love somebody and you have something in your hand that you want to give to them. I'm just saying, right? Figuratively, it's like... Um, and it's... Um, you know, emotions and feelings and a bond that is strong or at least is growing stronger because we have prosperity begins. We know the Ace of Pentacles is, um, you know, the uh, the seed that, um, you know, becomes full, um, full harvest. But 
um, you know, we have strong emotions for somebody, in, but in the past, absolutely. You decided, you know what, I'm going to wait. I'm going to work on something else. I'm going to uh, solve a couple of problems. I'm a little bit confused, so you know what, I'm all sit on my butt. Well, the person you are dealing with in the past, we do have the death, but of course can be Scorpio energy and we do have the uh, the Hermit, Virgo energy. One is, um, so I don't know, probably you deciding to wait, um, kind of made them um, go through a transformation of some sort. Um, they needed some time alone. They felt lonely, right? That's a solitude card actually. And um, gained some wisdom out of it. And um, this is a perfect combination saying that somebody really took their time um, to understand what happened and why it happened, right? With the death card over there. I love that energy actually. It's two major arcana. Um, this is an energy and major arcana, right? Are events that you cannot control and um, are also pieces of advice and lessons so I believe it was a harsh time for them but in the same time a growing time that's the hermit right growth and expansion of the mind um, no mutual energies between you and this person we do have the sacrifice so uh, probably both of you had to sacrifice something uh, through the um, end whatever end happened between you and this person we do have the High Priestess. This is a world of silence and moving on. Eight of Wands is the energy of um, success and moving forward is a kind of, um, is an energy of um, project of, you know, life goes on no matter what. And, um, and um, you know, this, that is this energy of ever present intuition and instinct and internal lessons and knowing and knowledge with the um, hangman and the um, high priestess it is both are energies of expansion of the mind and this person also went through some energies of wisdom right with the um, with the um, the hermit can also be Virgo energy by the way and you have a lot of people showing up you do have Pisces cancer you do have Scorpio and you do have Virgo, so maybe you are dealing with these signs, but it's a deep energy, I would say. It's a deep energy of intuition, of sacrifice, of expanding the mind, understanding a little bit better, moving on because we know better now, something like that, you know? It's interesting how the decision was on your side, Sagittarius, right? We have movement choices and decisions, right? So you've made a decision and a whole world of consequences in terms of, you know, between you and this person of yours. Uh, that you love and they love you back, right? That is Ace of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So that is a lot of love, but that is also something that you needed to do maybe. Um... <laughs> Sagittarius, on your side right now, we do have the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Of course, in love readings, this is about being single and having a lot of fun. Um, Six of Wands is like finally single and ready to mingle, kind of. We have this energy of um, material harvest and victory and success. Um, this is kind of the energy of I'm by myself, but I'm good, you know. And I'm enjoying it, I'm taking my time. Now, the person you are dealing with, um, they have the sun. So you might have a child with this person or uh, it might be a Leo you are dealing with and the four of pentacles. So, of course, they hold on to their truth and they hold on to you, by the way. Four of pentacles is an energy of I'm not, I'm going to fight for this. I'm not going to let go. It is an energy of holding, um, holding you dear in their heart, right? Um... But it's paired with the sun, so we know it's an energy of truth, awakening, awareness. It's an energy of, um, you know, trying to be present in the moment and make the most out of it. Um, and also a card of happiness. So somehow they go from the death to the sun. So, you know, might be a new chapter for them too, while still holding on to whatever you guys had in the past. Oh. Isn't it amazing? Mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the Five of Cups. Um, this is I almost died, missing you, right? Emotional loss. And we have the lovers. 
<clears throat> this is an energy of love and harmony. This is an energy of having a bond and not wanting to let go, right? Of course, because we have the Six of Cups with the Five of Cups and the Lovers, it's an energy of really remembering the time, you know? It's an energy of, um, of living in the past in some way and, um, you know, revisiting whatever was whatever is left in terms of messages, texts, you know, um, communication, that kind of, um, of energy. And that is still love here. You are very loved, Sagittarius, and I'm sure you love this person. Um, well, the possible outcome or moving forward, we do have the Emperor. Might be an Aries coming your way, and we do have the Four of Wands. This is an energy of focusing on house and home and family and roots and, um, and uh, being practical about something, being passionate about something, you know. Um, it's also an energy of taking control, like I was saying, having a plan, uh, a new um, kind of set direction, kind of energy, and foundations and achievements, right? It's a beautiful month. Now, the person you are dealing with, such that is in terms of um, outcome, they have new beginnings and they have partnership and alliances, so they might uh, move towards a new connection with somebody, a new relationship, a new partnership on their side in terms of mutual uh, in terms of individual kind of energies right we have partnership and alliances and new beginnings they might also be waiting we know three of ones is waiting for ships to come home maybe they've planted a seed somewhere and now they are expecting to have um you know um soon what they want and that is that new beginning and starting over Mutual energies between you and this person, we do have the justice, um, Libra energy, and we have uh, the wheel of fortune. Balance and destiny, right? I love this. Justice is about being able to speak again, right? It's about um, a decision. It's about bringing a situation, whatever was, um, whatever was um, lost, it is, um, you know, found in, in some way. And we also have changes. So I'm not seeing um, actually anybody acting on love, um, on the love that you have for each other, such that is. I'm not seeing you, on the contrary, I'm seeing you focused on whatever brings you stability. Maybe another person, an Aries coming your way and I see them starting new and having a new partnership. But there is a sense of balance and there is a sense of going with the flow for both of you. And accepting kind of that, well, well, that is love here. It's right in the middle of the reading, right? Missing each other in love, but then at the end of the day, you know what? We are going with the flow and we are allowing the universe to do its, um, its work, right? Destiny and balance. We hope that the universe will step in to balance out whatever was out of balance between you and this person. Because we are still in a mental conflict over here, right? We have the Temperance <clears throat> and the Two of Swords. We are contemplating here. And that's okay. That's a beautiful energy for both of you, actually. Beautiful energy of transformation, of victory of some sort, focusing on what gives uh, both of you stability, you know, firm foundations. So that's good. All is good. Now, Sagittarius, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need. Um, to do in regards to this uh, person um, and in terms of zodiac signs they can be a Sagittarius like yourself, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, Leo, Aries, Libra and that's about it. So let's see what else we need to know. Surrender to trust Sagittarius. If your mental conflict is related to trust well, you are guided to surrender to trust, right? Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinion about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So that is one. And it makes so much sense. You have so many, right, energies of decision. It's like you have to make a lot of decisions and yet we are still contemplating and in mental conflict. 
And the universe is saying not only surrender to trust and trust yourself in your decisions, but now trust yourself in your intuition. So tune in to your, to your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings or aha moments that come through to guide you. I know, I know. Yeah, but how am I supposed to make decisions if I don't know? <laughs> oh, look at that, such that is. Surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you are afraid of a change in your job, your health or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith, all is well. And such that is surrender your belief in scarcity. Okay? So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So maybe you are not making actually final decisions because it might have something to do with your fear of change and uh, maybe losing everything and becoming poor or something. Um, or not having enough or whatever. And your advice today is really surrender to trust, intuition, fear of change and you know what the universe will always provide no matter what so so my dear Sagittarius this is all that I have for you guys as always please let me know what you think don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time love you take care